Weight wires. Um, I'm pretty sure this is 20 gauge. 20 gauge wire. Yeah, okay. Now well, that's attached. You can slide them down. Make sure it's all the way down. Get the wick. Pull it in half. Stick it up and through. Pull it all the way out so the cut side is on the inside. And make sure when you're wrapping it, there's a gap at the top. That way you can get the wire through it. So you wrap once, hold it in place, wrap again, keep it tight, that's the whole point. These wicks destroy quickly. Around, and normally about here or so is where I like going up. If, you, if it slips up, you can just push it down with your hands. Stick it through. Pull it tight. Now what you're going to do is, you want to wrap the wire around the top piece. So you're not going to just kick it up and pull it through because it will kink up. You actually have to bend it around and go back through again. If not, it'll kink the wire and it makes it so it's more likely to break. tight yet because the idea is to be able to be creating tension at the top and the bottom. So from where I'm at right now, the wire is going to go around the front of the top of the, uh, the wick. Make sure we in place before you do this. Pull down tight. Do this now. Pull it around. And just wrap it around the bottom a couple times. Way it's pulling the whole thing tight and you wrap it around and then you cut and that's how you work it. Okay, the wire is not tight enough. You can the wire that is going through this piece right here. You can actually grab it with the pliers and bend it and it puts a little notch in it. And you can do it again. Puts a notch in it. Do it again. Put a notch in it. Doesn't weaken the metal, but it makes the metal tighter. So, yeah, yep, that was it. 